for another video. So today we're gonna talk about how do you go about getting a daily device report via email using Logic Apps and Graph. So what you're looking at right now is the sample email that you would be getting uh, once you run the Logic App that we're gonna build. So this is the email, um, our end product. Uh, it will have total devices, zero, MDM, and roll zero, and all those details in here along with the OS. So for an Intune admin, it's always helpful um, to get an overview of the current status of the tenant and the overview of the count of device in this field. So in this video, I would like to explain how you can use Logic Apps and send you a detailed daily report on your email. So without further ado, let's get started. So prerequisite to this video is having an app registration on Azure with the permission needed to run this API. So if I go to the permission section, the only permission that we'll need is device management, manage devices dot read all. And that has to be the application permission. Make sure you have granted the admin consent. I'll quickly show you the logic app that we're gonna build. So this is the end product that we have. The first step is gonna be reoccurrence. So as it says daily report, it's gonna run once per day every day and then you can always decide at what time it has to run and all those things in here um, so once that is done it will call a graph api which is the managed device endpoint and then it would pass the response from the managed device endpoint into a json format and then we will send an email um, using that json format so this is the email that you saw earlier um, this one you can again always customize this email as you want and all the details in there so Let's get started and start with our logic app. So first thing first, I'll go to the portal.azure.com. I need to create the logic app from scratch. So let's open portal.azure.com. I'll click on logic apps. So once we are on the logic app section, I'll click on add. All right, so I'm going to use the consumption plan for my use case. Um, you can choose any plan as your wish. Resource group, I'm going to select the existing resource group. So this is again your choice. For the logic app name, I'm going to name it Graph API Daily Report. I'll click on review and create, and this will create our logic app. So our logic app, it's validating. I have my client secret here pasted in. I have the graph API that I'm going to use. I have the sample email that I'm going to use. All right, so our logic app is ready. So I'll click on logic app designer. Go to the logic app designer real quick. I'll have this details, uh, the graph API endpoint and the email that i have in here so that it can quickly help you get started real quick all right so back to the logic app uh, we first thing first we'll need to add a trigger so in this case it would be a recurring trigger so i'll just add recurrence and it should yeah the schedule app the interval i'm going to specify one and it should run daily so time zone start time you can adjust as per your need i'm not going to do that click on next add action this is going to be an HTTP action. So uh, type in HTTP. Once we have the HTTP, just select the one that we have. I'll copy the graph API endpoint that we have in here. Uh, manage device overview. There we go. It should be a get endpoint. And nothing else is needed. The only thing that we'll need is authentication to authenticate Microsoft Graph. And this is where our app registration would come into picture. So authentication type has to be Active Directory OAuth uh, tenant. I'll have to copy it from the overview section of my app registration. So I'll copy the tenant ID. Tenant ID has been copied. Audience would be graph.microsoft.com. So let me copy and paste that. So this is without the forward slash. Now I need client ID. I'll copy the client ID, paste it in here. Credential type. Credential type would be the secret that we have. So I already have it in here. I'll just paste it in there and that is it. So we are done with our HTTP call. Let's name it graph API managed device over view. 
I'll do get. Okay. So this is good. And now we need to do parse JSON. So before we do that, I'll click on save and all right. So we have to add another parse JSON. So here that should be JSON data operation parse JSON. Yeah, this is exactly what we need. This would be body. So I'll select body and schema would be the one that we have as JSON. Uh, we need to have a schema. So I already have one schema pasted in here. So I'll use that. All right. I'll make sure I have the schema in the description below so you can copy paste that. So I'll click quickly click on save to make sure that is as per what we need. So it is right now since it gave us success message. I'll click on pass this uh, for the new step. So next step gonna be is sending an email. So I'll click on add action. It should be Outlook. There you go and send an email. So first thing first, we'll need to sign in into the Outlook account. It should give us a pop up, and there is the pop up. It will do some kind of authentication. So I'll skip this part and move ahead all right okay so send an email connector is up so first thing first i'll need to enter our email address subject would be as per your choice i'm going to put it my daily report and body is what i have in here this is the body that i'm going to use i'll paste it in this and this is how our email would look like you can customize this as per your choice body is required invalid parameters mm -hmm. i think we are good i'll just quickly save it perfect so now i think we are ready to run this app all right so now that we have our app ready i can go ahead and click on run so this will trigger our logic app and soon we should be able to see our new email in here and there it is there is our email that is sent via graph api and there you go so it has all the details that we need from Intune, and this is how you should be getting it as well. All right, so that's all for this video. Do let me know if you have any question, comments, and do subscribe to this channel and let me know if you have any new idea that I can cover using Graph API. Until then, adios, goodbye.